Kishori Ravindra Amunkar the 10th of April 1931 to the 3rd of April 2017 was a leading Indian classical vocalist belonging to the Jaipur Gharana or a community of musicians sharing a distinctive musical style she was a performer of the classical genre kail and the light classical genres thumri and bhajan Amunkar trained under her mother classical singer Mogubai Kurdikar also from the Jaipur Gharana but she experimented with a variety of vocal styles in her career Career Training Kishori's initial training in music was by her mother, the classical vocalist Mogubai Kurdikar. She has stated in an interview that her mother was an exacting teacher, initially teaching her by singing phrases and making Kishori repeat them. In the early stages of her career, she traveled with her mother to performances, accompanying her on the Tanpura while Kurdikar sang. In the early 1940s, young Kishori began to receive vocal lessons in Hindustani classical music from Anjanabai Malpekar of the Bendibazar Gharana and later received training from tutors of several other Gharanas. Her tutors included Anwar Hussain Khan of Agra Gharana, Sharadchandra Arolkar of Gwalior Gharana, and Balkrishnabua Parwatkar. Kishori has credited Anjanabai, in particular, with teaching her the technique of meant, or gliding, between notes. <laughs> technique and style Amunkar's later work in light music reformed her classical singing and she modified her Jaipur Gharana performance style by applying features from other Gharanas. She has been both praised and criticized for pushing the boundaries of the Jaipur tradition. She was a romanticist and her approach prioritized emotional expression over tradition, so she often departed from the Jaipur Gharana's rhythmic, melodic, and structural traditions. Amunkar has criticized the idea that schools, or Gharanas, of music determine or constrain a singer's technique. Amunkar has stated that while the Jaipur Gharana's technique and methods form the base of her style, she performs several variations on it, including an adoption of alapchari, or a relaxing of the link between the rhythm and note. Amunkar has expressed her views on how musical education should be conducted, emphasizing the importance of enabling students to move beyond repetitive techniques and learn the tools that allow them to improvise on their own. She credits her mother with using this approach to teach her, noting, You have to walk and run on your own. The guru gives you strength to be able to do that. If you don't, then you remain ordinary. My mother made sure I wasn't ordinary. She noted that training is an ongoing process, and stated in an interview that she often listened to her own recorded performances to analyze and improve her technique. Amunkar emphasized emotion and spirituality as essential parts of her singing, stating that. To me it music is a dialogue with the divine, this intense focused communication with the ultimate other. She has often spoken of music as an act of sublimation, noting that it is the sadhana medium to attain the sadhya destination. In 2010, she published a book in Marathi titled Swarartha Ramani in which she elaborated her views on musical theory and practice. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Classical vocalist Amunkar's career as a classical vocalist grew in the 1960s and 70s. Prior to this, she briefly stopped performing because of an illness that affected her ability to sing. Amunkar has said that she used this hiatus in her career to consider and develop her own style of singing, that transcended classical schools gharanas of music. Amunkar has also spoken about the treatment of women performers as classical musicians, noting that the experience of watching her mother perform informed her own approach to professionalism and fair treatment, particularly when it comes to ensuring that musicians are paid well for their performances. On one notable occasion, she refused to perform because the audience was badly behaved, emphasizing the importance of respecting the performers during a concert. She created many compositions for a number of ragas. Amunkar was also a popular speaker and traveled throughout India. She was best known for lectures on the role of rasa, feelings or emotions in music. Topic: <laughs> Light classical and popular genres. 
In addition to her career as a classical vocalist, Amunker was known for her performances of lighter classical pieces, with a wide repertoire of thumrus and bhajans, as well as some performances for film soundtracks. She sang for the soundtrack of the 1990 Hindi film Drishti. She became interested in film music and sang playback for the 1964 movie Geet Gaya Patharan Ne, but reportedly returned to classical music in part because of unpleasant experiences with the film industry. The decision may have also been motivated by her mother Mogubai Kurdikar's disapproval. Kurdikar is reported to have told Amunkar that she would be forbidden from accompanying her mother if she continued to work in the film industry. Personal life and death Kishori Amunkar was born in Bombay on 10 April 1932. Her father died when she was seven years old, leaving Amunkar and her two elder siblings to be raised primarily by their mother, the classical vocalist Mogubai Kurdikar. Kishori was married to Ravindra Amunkar, a school teacher, who died in 1992. The couple had two sons, Bibas and Nihar, now both in their 60s. She was sometimes also described as temperamental. Responding to these comments, Amunker has stated that this reputation perhaps derives from her insistence that performers be treated respectfully, and to the fact that she chooses to spend time before her concerts in solitude and preparation instead of socializing with fellow musicians. Amunker has stated, I never play to the gallery. The audience cannot disturb the loneliness of an artiste. Amunker did not enjoy giving press interviews. Amunker lived in the suburb of Prabhadevi, in Mumbai. She died on 3 April 2017 in her sleep, a week before her 85th birthday, at her residence in Mumbai. Recognition and legacy Amunkar received several of India's national awards and civilian honours, including the Padma Bhushan, in 1987, and Padma Vibhushan in 2002. She was awarded the Sangeet Natak Akademi Award for 1985 and the Sangeet Natak Akademi Fellowship for 2009. She was awarded the prestigious Dr. TMA Pai Outstanding Konkani Award in 1991. In 2016, she was one of seven recipients of the MS. Subulakshmi Award for Classical Music. Amunkar was recognized by several of her contemporaries and fellow musicians for her skill and technique in classical music. The tabla musician, Ostad Zakir Hussain, has said that Amunkar's performances of several ragas, such as Raga Boop, are landmark performances that take place over hundreds of years and you will talk about them for the rest of your life and rest of the many centuries to come. The Carnatic vocalist T.M. Krishna praised her approach to classical music, saying, When Kishori Ji sings she is not trying to be new but just by being with her music and continuing to submit to it, she has given classical music an everlasting newness and freshness. This is true creativity. Amunkar is the subject of a documentary titled B. Hina Shaja, which was directed by Amol Palkar and Sandhya Gokhale. Several of Amunkar's students have become classical musicians of their own repute, including Nandini Bedakar, Raghunandan Panchakar, Suhasini Mulgankar, P. T. Arun Dravid, Meera Panchakar, Meena Joshi, Maya Upadhya, Vidya Bhagwat, Sangeeta Kati, Manjiri Asnair Kelkar and violinist Milind Riker. Amunkar's granddaughter, Tajashri Bibas Amunkar, is also a classical musician and was trained by Amunkar. <laughs> 